Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. In today's video, we are going to talk about vitamin B12 deficiency, what exactly it is and how it affects your health. So if you want to know more about it, make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Friends, vitamin B12 is one of the very important component in order to ensure that your nerve health is maintained well. Vitamin B12 is one such vitamin that is in, that ensures that your central nervous system, especially your peripheral nervous system and your nerves are healthy, intact and functioning well. Not only that, it's also important for your overall health and well-being and development and maintenance of your brain. Along with that, it also ensures that your RBC production is going well. So that's all is the function of vitamin B12 and that's the reason when vitamin B12 is less in your body or else if there is deficiency of vitamin B12, it can lead to a lot of neurological disorders and neurological symptoms and even sometimes it can lead to anemia as it's also responsible in production of RBCs in our body. So what exactly is vitamin B12? Vitamin B12 is a kind of water-soluble vitamin. Travel through your bloodstream. This is a vitamin that your body can actually store for four years and all the excess vitamin B12 that's there in body gets actually excreted by urine. That's the reason there is very less chances of vitamin B12 uh, toxicity or as excess vitamin B12 present in the body. Now, as I said, vitamin B12 is responsible for your neurological function, your nerves function as well as your blood RBC level. That's why you need good amount of vitamin B12 in your body. Whenever there is some deficiency in this vitamin B12, it could lead to some major health disorders. Some of the examples of some disorders that could be present in your body due to vitamin B12 deficiency are depression, confusion, memory problem, fatigue, constipation, loss of appetite, weight loss, numbness and tingling in your body, especially on your peripheral areas like your hands, your palms and your toes, as well as balancing issues. That's the reason vitamin B12 deficiency is very commonly seen in people who have got neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease, stroke, multiple sclerosis, etc. But that's not the case. Even people who are having zero pathology can also develop vitamin B12 deficiency. But the good news is vitamin B12 is easily present in a lot of dietary supplements. Some of the foods that are rich in vitamin B12 are fish, meat, eggs and dairy products and sometimes some of the cereals that are available in marketplace as well as the soya supplements also are fortified with vitamin b12 but apart from that there are a lot of dietary supplements that you can take in order to combat the deficiency of vitamin b12 in your body but how do you know how much vitamin b12 is good for you as i said there are very less chances of vitamin b12 toxicity in the body but still there are some ideal parameters for vitamin b12 in the body for example if you are a teenager or as an adult who is more than 14 years of age you need 2.4 milligrams of vitamin b12 in your diet at the same time if you who are someone who is pregnant then you need a dietary supplements or a dietary requirement for vitamin b12 is 2.6 milligrams and if you are a lactating mother if you are breastfeeding then you need 2.8 milligrams of vitamin b12 as i said that there are a lot of medical supplements also available for vitamin b12 make sure that if deficiency is existing see a doctor who would be able to prescribe you a good supplement for vitamin b12 deficiency vitamin b12 not only affects adults but sometimes it affects infants as well in infants vitamin b12 deficiency can lead to facial tremors reflex problem feeling difficulty irritation and growth related issues that's why kids who are born with neurological disorders need extra level extra amount of vitamin b12 in their diet compared to regular compared to normal children. So, as you have observed, the sources of vitamin B12 are more in non-vegetarian food than in vegetarian food. That's why there are few people who are at risk of developing vitamin B12 deficiency compared to others. These people are people who are especially vegans or vegetarians. They lack vitamin B12 much more than non-vegetarian. Women who is lactating or is pregnant is also at risk of developing vitamin B12 deficiency. That's why some additional supplements must be there to combat this deficiency. People with anemia 
also are at risk of developing vitamin B12 deficiency and that's why they need an additional supplement. At the same time, people who are chronic alcoholic, they are also at risk of development of vitamin B12 deficiency. So, what's the management for someone who suffers from vitamin B12 deficiency? It's simple. The management comprises of a comp the management comprises of a combination of dietary supplements as well as some additional supplements. Diet which is rich in vitamin B12 can be easily prescribed by a nutritionist who can help you out in finding out some meal plans and sources which will allow you to get maximum amount of vitamin B12. At the same time, your doctor can prescribe you some supplements which are rich in vitamin B12 which you can, which you can incorporate in your day-to-day -day routine. And that's how you combat your deficiency of vitamin. So friends, this was all about vitamin B12 deficiency. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to Health Q channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.